think he stayed up there with her so that she could get some stuff out. He's going to take that. Me and you are going to go in through the front. Hey, how's it going? Pretty good. You can talk to uh, Ryan. Ryan? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Uh, is he here to talk to you? Uh, Ryan Edwards? Yes. Yeah, yeah, he's here. Do you want me to get him for you? Yes, please. Uh huh. Hang on one second. Do you walk with you here, Miss? Yeah. Ryan. This truck's here. Yeah. I don't work there. Ryan. Matt, if you want to keep an eye on that truck right there, let's see. Oh, okay. Now, now. That's him sitting on that. Take your hand out of your pocket. Step right here. Turn around. What is going on? Turn around. You're in place under arrest. For what? Well, for one, you know what you did up here at the house. That's ridiculous. I did not do that. Oh, yeah? Somebody else did it. I've got evidence. Okay. Well, you have a warrant, so how about okay. that? Okay. Yeah. Is this that better is, for you? This is crazy. Well, you violated the order last night. You're supposed to immediately vacate. The officer that said I could move my stuff out. He told you you could do that with the police with escort with 45 minutes. That's right. If on she wasn't he there. He also told you that you needed to turn yourself in on this warrant. Yes, that was yesterday. Right. Six five six. Got one in custody. Well, there. Well, there. Well, there. Well, there. Well, there. So we're not going to ask you any questions right now, but just so that you're all aware of what's going on, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say in will be against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you can't afford one, one will be appointed to you. You have the right to have that attorney present at any time during questioning. And you have the right to refuse to answer any questions. I need to lock my toolbox up. Now, somebody else can handle it. Somebody else is going to have to do that for you. Ma'am, I have the keys to it. Wherever it is, if you've unsecured it right now, I don't know where it's at. We're going straight to a patrol car. So you said you didn't do that. What, what am I talking about? I've been to my house. I saw what the hell was in front of So who did that then? If it wasn't you. The person that is with her, I guess. When did you see it? When I was there, 
I stayed at my house and my parents' house. I know his part is that's broke off. Don't go to the house. He broke off my house. I left and went to my dad's house and I went back that morning. That's what I saw. What morning? Okay, she, she was at the house yesterday and it wasn't like that. Yes, it was. I thought the truth. What kind of proof do you have? I have my camera, game camera, with the SD card. You also violated the order by calling her dad, telling him that you're going to be there at the house. Are you serious? Yes. That's indirect contact. I don't understand that. Well, you should have asked a question yesterday when it was served and you asked if you had to I'm not being a play. I'm not trying to contact you. I'm not being a play. I pick it up from the jail. Um. Audio on? Yeah, that's Good deal. You want, I've got gloves. You want me to pull it out? Um, Throw it in. Yeah, here we can just. I think I got a baggie right here. We can put it in. Mm. 
She said coke. So either way, I wouldn't test it. Send it off. But yeah, just, uh, I suspect it'd either be in. Uh, uh, I mean, cocaine would be more fitting for what he did over there. Yeah, it being would. Being up all night, but or what he did. Was this somebody else's too, or was it, or is that all you? What that wallet? Yeah. Yeah, that's mine. Just for our safety, is it fentanyl or is it heroin or is it something else? Huh? You don't know? Mm. Is it powdered sugar? Oh, okay. Somebody just slipped in your wallet. I very often don't know. Yeah, absolutely. Alrighty. Well, I really appreciate it. Oh. 